Well, earlier this week in our Rebound Idaho series, we told you how career and technical education programs are seeing a huge boost in their enrollment. And as Idaho News 6's Rebound reporter Natasha Williams explains, they're facing a new challenge. Natasha, oh, she's going to join us live now. They're now looking for more teachers. Is that correct? Yes, they are. So that interest that we talked about, that growth, that enrollment boost, more than 16 thousand Idaho students joined CTE programs in a four year span. So that's from 2016 to now, which is pretty huge enrollment. But the thing is, finding teachers to teach all those students has been a challenge. Especially out in our our smaller rural districts, this is where we, we come into some real some real challenges for Idaho CTE programs. Growing interest has meant a tighter crunch and teacher shortages have been a growing concern in the gem state for the past several years. Teacher shortages are are all over the state of Idaho. We're trying to figure out how to how to encourage people to go there. There are three ways to become a CTE teacher in Idaho. You can go through a teacher preparation program, hold a dual four year degree, or you can take the occupational route. We say, OK, you've been in the industry for however many years and you have a depth of knowledge of content. So they come in with a really strong content knowledge. They just are lacking the the teacher, uh, the teacher part of it. From there, the state pays for that professional to go through training to become a teacher. We actually put them into a two year cohort. Um, we cover the cost, but we pair them up with mentors uh, within the school and within the state. But districts across the state are working to fill the teacher gap too. Over at the College of Eastern Idaho, Jennifer Lopez works to help support students involved with CTE and STEM education and offers teacher support at the same time. This gives them an opportunity to really explore some different branches and uh, see how they could actually implement this in their class. Back in the 2020 legislative session, an East Idaho lawmaker drafted a bill to boost access to CTE programs, especially in rural parts of the state. That bill was signed into law by the governor on April 15th of this year. And while these are all possible solutions, the Idaho Division of Career and Technical Education emphasizes they don't have a golden ticket, really, a solid one solution to solve this issue. But of course, they'll keep looking for it. For now, live from Boise, I'm Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.